But first we are going to start with J1407. Now these names are very complicated because uh, these have been recently discovered. For example, this J1407 has been discovered in 2012. So it will take its time to get them names like Saturn, Jupiter or something. And speaking of Saturn, uh, J1407 is exactly like Saturn but 200 times bigger and that's what makes it so fascinating. Up until we were exploring our close universe, Saturn was the only celestial body with such an extensive ring pattern. But this one beats Saturn by a mile away. For example, if you place this, uh, so how it goes is that J1407 is the sun or, or in a better way. A star which is very similar to our star around which our planet is revolving, that is Sun. Now, J1407 is a star which is very Sun-like. It is 90% the mass of our Sun and around that is a planet which is revolving and that is J1407b. So that is how generally it goes. Like... Uh, the star name will be similar to the planets orbiting that star. I'm going to be showing you some of the pictorial depiction. Spacecast is always better on YouTube with the video version, but I'll do my best to clarify things for the audio version as well. All right. So as you can see, these rings are massive and the largest one, the outer periphery is 120 million kilometers. If you want to get it to a proper perspective, the diameter of Earth is 12,000 kilometers and the diameter of Saturn is 270,000 kilometers. So it is 200 times the rings of Saturn. But comparing the size is not sufficient. If you compare the age of Saturn and J1407, J1407 is only 16 million years old, whereas Saturn is 4.5 billion years old. So this is what scientists are thinking that for the first couple of million years, these rings are going to thin out and some of them are going to turn into moons or natural satellites. And that is what they are also thinking that maybe in the initial phases, uh, even Jupiter or Saturn were having rings this massive and uh, over time they turned into natural satellites and if you place j17 or oh, sorry 1407b where saturn is right now you will be able to see it from earth with your bare naked eyes and it will appear to you multiple times larger than moon isn't that crazy in terms of distance it is 434 light years away so whatever you are seeing right now is obviously something that happened 400 years ago but that is the fascinating thing about this that this is the first celestial body that is found outside of our solar system to have such a ring-like pattern and the star that it is revolving around is not that bright matter of fact most of the time it eclipses that star when it is somewhere in the middle of your position and the position of that star that is J1407. So if you look at a line of sight in which you are at one end and that star is at the other end and this planet J1407b is in the middle, it will e eclipse almost 90% of the light coming from that star. And they did a very amazing visual depiction. So you must be thinking that, oh, did we really see the rings from down here from Earth? By the way, this was first discovered by an astronomer in Rochester University. I'm going to discuss more about that. An article which is exactly the same is published both in the website of University of Rochester and the NASA Exoplanet website. Just in a moment, I'm going to discuss that. But first, going to the Rochester University, you can see over here, they have made a video of how they found out that these are actually rings. Because from here, it won't even appear like a disk. It will be something that will be blocking light. But how do you really understand that these are rings and there are gaps in between these disks? So if you look at this video over here, you can see that star J1407 when is covered or eclipsed by these rings, the lights are higher at some positions and then it goes down back. So there are thicker rings, there are thinner rings, and then there are spaces or voids in between the rings. And that is how you really understand that this is not 
a disk blocking it it's a planet and around that there are rings of uh, basically space debris and it is massive and also it is a gas giant at the center of it all right let's let's get into this article that they have published over astronomer eric mamachak at university of rochester and his co-author from leiden observatory the netherlands have discovered a ring system that they see eclipse a very young sun like star that is j1407 is of enormous proportions much larger and heavier than the ring system of saturn the ring system the first of its kind to be found outside the solar system was discovered in 2012 by a team of Rochester's Eric Mamachak a new analysis shows that it consists of over 30 rings with tens of millions of kilometer in diameter like i said that the largest one is close to 120 million kilometers now if you also want to put that in perspective i think that distance in between sun and earth is somewhere close to 140 million kilometers so let me just confirm that yeah 150 million kilometers so you can think about it like that also so if it was placed where the sun is placed it will be almost reaching where the earth is but also much smaller than what our sun is but you can understand how widely its gravitational field is influencing the dust around that it is actually forming it into these rings also there are fascinating things that this planet might be having a moon and that is where the comet actually came that this is having three moons which is not what i could find so far but we'll get into that all right so this is what i was saying about rings becoming thinner and thinner over time astronomers expect that the rings will become thinner in the next several million years and eventually disappear as satellites form from the material of the disk the planetary science community has theorized for decades that the planets like jupiter and saturn jupiter and saturn would have had at early stages disks around that them led to the formation of satellites okay that that we understand that earlier we are expecting that even planets which we do not see today having rings might be having at that time rings which over time turned into the satellites astronomers estimate that ringed companion j1407 b has an orbital period of roughly a decade in length my god 10 years of revolution the mass of it has to be because it is so huge like i said the distance between the sun and close to that what we have earth as all right the mass of j1407 b has been difficult to constrain but but most likely it's in the range of 10 to 40 jupiter so it is not a small planet at all and it is like larger than jupiter so definitely larger than earth i tried to find out some graphical relation to it but this is a very early discovery and people did not do a lot of work in this domain if you have more findings related to j1407 let me know down in the comment section yeah that's what they are saying <laughs> next the researchers encourage amateur astronomers to help monitor j1407 so every time it reaches that position right um where it eclipses its own star that is where you can find more and more about this particular planet also i can i can actually contact the author i'll try to do that let's see what response we get from this one maybe we can have him or her on space cast i'm not sure lenor sierra